accused of killing a 59-year-old, prosecutors described as the suspect's friend and then as his boyfriend. This happened in Huber Heights in September of 2021. The murder shook the community. News Center 7's Mike Campbell joins us live in Montgomery County. And Mike, you were there for opening statements. Well, absolutely, Sharon. Now, the reason this case was so unusual and different in 2021 is because it was the first recorded homicide in Huber Heights that year, a very out-of-the-ordinary event. And as the case did move into the trial stage here at the Montgomery County Courthouse, prosecutors explained to the jury that the relationship between Barry Pence and the significantly older male victim changed from an ordinary work friendship to something else. What started out as being co-workers involved into a friendship between James and the defendant. And what was a friendship then evolved into a romantic relationship. An assistant prosecutor told a jury that Barry Pence II was 22 when the crime occurred. She said he'd met the victim, James Woolard, while both worked at a car parts plant. But when their relationship became strained and Pence would not return Woolard's calls, he threatened to expose private information about Pence. Prosecutors said this angered Pence so much, he bought a knife at a gas station, went to Woolard's home, where he'd been on numerous occasions. He was waiting for James to fall asleep. And what he did, that's when he struck. Over 20 times, he stabbed the victim. Prosecutors emphasized that after the alleged attack, that Pence deliberately threw the knife in a river and cleaned himself up and deliberately threw his old clothes in a trash can of a nearby McDonald's. The main question for you will be, did the defendant know the wrongfulness of his actions. Pence's attorney says he doesn't believe Pence realized the seriousness of his actions. He told the jury he would ask them to find Pence not guilty by reason of insanity in regards to his actions at the Huber Heights home. He said all the work done by Huber Heights police and others in this investigation does not change the fact that he believes Pence has bipolar and schizoaffective disorders and cannot be held responsible for his actions. He promised psychological experts will testify. If Barry Pence suffers from a severe mental disease, that he did not know the wrongfulness of his actions. And back live here, the first witnesses of this case began to testify late this afternoon, and we do expect family members of the victim, James Ward, to take the stand during this trial, as well as up to three different psychological experts expected to testify as well. We will keep you updated about the testimony throughout this week, and of course, we will be there when the verdict happens. For now, reporting live in downtown Dayton, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. Okay, Mike. Thank hey, everybody. Good Tuesday evening to you. I'm Storm Center.